All right. Um, what I want to do is I am going to share my screen real quick. I'm going to go ev through everything from the very beginning, what we're going to do. And then I will um, here um, on your class, I have this, which is my PowerPoint. Here, so um, you guys should be able to see this. So we're going to be making a vase with recycled paper. So basically, just newspaper. What we're going to use, and we're going to use a balloon as the um, base. So some of you who did the Oaxaca animals would remember doing paper mache, and um, so you will be doing that, and uh, you'll create a form with your balloon and some paper and then you'll be paper machine over that. So here is some um, resources for you. You can click on these resources if you wish to. This kind of walks you through the whole putting paper mache on the balloon. Um, and then they use tissue paper at the end. You're gonna be using white paper at the end. They also used um, a little toilet, partial toilet paper, paper towel holder there to add um, some visual interest to it, to add a neck to it. And then I'm gonna show you how to do the foot as well. So it's not so roly poly, but that is there. So then also, oops, kind of messed this up. Um, there's uh, making a bowl, which you would only use half of the balloon to make your bowl. And you can see how they just left it newspaper. If you're leaving it newspaper, I want you to be a little creative about it. Use it like almost like a collage. But if you see this, they have a kind of a container to hold your balloon. And then they paper mache just about half of the um, scroll down real quick. These are just resources sources that are there for you. See how they made like a line of the top of the bowl and then they were going to paper mache the rest. So then um, there's two YouTube um, videos on it as well. I'm not going to show you those because you guys can go back and see them and I did show them to you last week. So then I talked about this again, some examples of work. Here's some um, ways to change your form using cardboard. This would be like a paper towel roll. This is, you're gonna take cardboard and kind of tape it to the balloon to give it a, a big solid bottom. Um, let's see what's next. So then here's some finished examples on Friday. I did ask if you guys chimed into school on Friday. There was an assignment for you guys to figure out what some ideas might be for the surface of your um, vase. So uh, you can use paint, watercolor, markers, crayons, uh, whatever you can put your hands on, you can decorate it with. You can use collage. Like people cut stuff out of a magazine and then just collage that onto their vase. Here's some paint. If you're making your paper mache vase with, um, and you only have newspaper, you don't have paper towel rolls or anything, you can use the newspaper to create the neck, which is the very top, and the foot, which is the very bottom. So that's an example of that. Here's some examples of bowls, how these are painted creatively. I, I want you guys to push more towards that than solid colors or stripes. So this is a confetti bowl. I don't know if anybody's gonna do this, but if you have confetti, you can kind of use that as its decorative component. And then some unfinished work here, just started with different designs. And then here's some that uh, texture was added with additional paper mache. And then um, uh, magazine cutouts were added here to create.
create the design on that. And then that is a bowl on a pedestal, which kind of makes it look like a goblet. So these would be two components. You would make the bowl with the balloon, and then you would make this with whatever you can put your hands on, cardboard, paper towel roll, paper mache them all together, and then you have that form. And then this is a final bowl with some interesting de decorations on it, or painting on it. So, um, so that being said, um, what I want to do now is to go ahead and ask a poll. Um, see if everyone has um, started started their um, their piece. So I'm going to stop sharing this for a moment. I'm going to go to here. So what I'm asking is, have you started? You guys here don't have to worry about this. I'm just going to ask people at home if they've started um, oops, making um, making their piece. So this is started. going. Okay. There we go. Just yes or no, simply have you started? Okay, five of you are missing, four of you, three of you, two, one. One person out there hasn't answered this. All right, looks like this class is 50-50 with one person not answering. Um, so it looks like half of you started, half of you have not. So those of you who have not started, um, please let me know. Oh, it looks like everybody did. Okay. Um, please let me know if you need supplies. You can, if you're coming to school Thursday, I, I feel like the people who are in school, I got supplies. If you're not coming to school and you need them, you can um, either chat with me during the Zoom or you can um, message me in Schoology what you need and how we can get it to you. Like, will you be able to come to school or do you want me to drop them off? I told everybody in my other classes that I will be able to drop off supplies um, on yet tomorrow, tomorrow after school. So um, if you need that, I can run around and drop some supplies off. So just real quick, what I want to do is just, I'm going to need to get everybody started up here, but I wanted to show you what I've got going here. So here's my balloon. I made this little cone shape for the bottom. You guys can see that. And then... Um, so I did this last week, but um, when I came to school today, the, um, the 
balloon had deflated, so I had to start again. So really basically what I did was just roll some paper together and I'm gonna tape that onto the top here. And then what I did also is I'll show you real quick as I took paper, it's not very stiff, it's just a little bit thicker than regular paper. And I made a rainbow shape. Make some of my piece. Now, you could do much better if you used a compass to do this, but I'm just freehanding it. So I have this rainbow shape. Can you guys see that? it out. I have this. And what I simply do is just put it together like that. So that's giving me a cone shape. Make sure it sits well. I just tape it together. And then what I can do is I could add a bottom to it if I wanted to. You know, grab some paper, cut out a bottom, tape that down there. And then I can tape my balloon into that cone shape. It doesn't really matter that there's like a little extras to it. That's not a problem. And then for the, the other thing that you can do in case you don't have any paper is to take newspaper. And um, Take a little section of the newspaper, and the only thing I'm doing here is just kind of folding it up. So that it's kind of flat. I'll tape this together. it in a circle. And then that could be bottom of my Whoops, sorry, woke you guys up. <laughs> sorry, I knew that was gonna happen. I popped my balloon. All right. So. To see that this could get taped down here. Tape that, that would hold up my balloon, or I could put my balloon in this, however I wanted to do that. And then the last thing that I could do is I have um, a little bit of a paper towel roll that could go on the very top, and that could be the top of that, or I can use paper to create a top for that. So, and then if I only have newspaper, I can do the same. The newspaper may be a little bit smaller. Tape this together, round it out, tape it together. 
and use it for the very top. Or you can braid or twist paper together, however you want to do that, um, and depending on what you have. So, let's see. Oh, Brandon, you're coming back to school on Thursday. Okay, awesome. All right, so I'm going to stop recording. The, uh, yeah.